is one of the best players on the Booker High School varsity football team, and now he is getting ready to move on to play some college football. And tonight, ABC 7's James Hill joining us to tell us more about this player. And James, this is a senior who's really making a name for himself. A very good young man. Good evening. I had the opportunity to stop by Booker High School and talk to the senior wide receiver, Josiah Booker. He's a highly skilled wide receiver with quickness, speed, and a work ethic, taking him all the way to college in the Midwest. Check this out. Josiah Booker has at least 16 offers from colleges across the country to accept a scholarship and play football. Josiah tells me he narrowed his offers down to his final five. Toledo, Florida A&M, Jackson State, and Wofford College. After finishing my four years at Booker High School, I'll be attending um, Central Michigan University. Booker says he will be ready to play college football in the Mid-American Conference. Coach Carlos Woods, the defensive coordinator and assistant athletic director at Booker High School, shares his thoughts on Josiah Booker's decision. He has a great opportunity to go up, be a part of the Chippewa program. I think it's going to be a great fit. You know, Coach Mack, uh, Coach Petrino, the offensive coordinator, they run the spread offense. It fits them well. They do a phenomenal job of scheming and putting those guys in position to be successful. So it's going to be a great fit for them, great opportunity. Josiah Booker tells me earning his degree is also important. Football always doesn't have to be the more so of the thing, it could be the route to get you out, um, put you in a better place where people can't put their foot in. Um, education can take you far as long as um, getting a degree, um, having your own business, and being something major um, when you grow up. Josiah Booker growing up and looking forward to college coursework and football games. He and the Central Michigan Chippewas play at Florida International in Miami on September 7th.